Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Brandon, a student at the University of Toronto. And first of all, I just want to say I am so sorry for being MIA and disappearing off the face of the planet for the past two or three weeks. I've been super, super busy with so many opportunities that have just came up. And you know what? I'm here right now and I'm just really excited to share with you what's been going on but today i'll be giving you guys a highly highly requested video which is how i studied at canada's hardest university the university of toronto and so as i've been really doing this youtube channel as i've been helping the high school graduates transition into university so many people have been asking me hey how did you get 4.0s at U of T? What was your study secret? Like, what's the, you know, what's the secret sauce? What's your secret ingredient? And you know what? Today, I'll be breaking it down to you in three parts. Number one is my study strategy in high school and how at the time I thought that was the best thing to do. Secondly, is when I transitioned to university, I basically revamped my entire study strategy to make it uh, fit for the rigor of the University of Toronto's academic stress. And finally, I'll be giving you guys my key study tips and strategies that I think every single effective student should develop and have in their own toolbox. And so with this being said, I hope you guys um, will enjoy this video. I hope you guys will learn something from it, but I just want to tell you guys that there is a very, very exciting announcement coming up at the end of the video. It is a two week internship program. And I know opportunities are very scarce right now. So I'm encouraging all of you guys that to stick around all the way to the end. There is a very, very interesting program that I think will be a great experience for all of you guys. So make sure you stick all the way to the end. With that being said though, let's just get right into the video, starting with how I studied in high school. All right, so in high school, it was an interesting experience in terms of my studying. I didn't really know that studying was something that students needed to work on, something that there was a optimal method of doing. And so I just studied the way everyone else was doing. So. What I did was essentially a three-step process. Number one was I rewrit, not rewrit, rewritten my notes, rewrote my notes. I rewrote my notes uh, based off of the textbook and like the PowerPoint slides that were given. I'd compile them into like a 14 uh, to 16 page, like I guess, clump of papers. That's the other thing. But I would get that, and after I made the, those notes, very comprehensive and detailed notes, I'd make a summary sheet, which was step number two. After making a summary sheet of all the key information, maybe diagrams to help me understand everything, then I'd finally go back into rereading them, and I'd be rereading and highlighting the stuff I didn't know. And so, as you can see, this was a very, very long process. This wasn't, this wasn't really that effective, although I did get decent grades in high school. I was spending a lot of time, especially since all these notes were handwritten, uh, you know, using pen and paper, and I was highlighting it manually. This was very, very time consuming. And often, you know, for the amount of work I put in, it wasn't really something I saw a lot of results from. From the amount of work I put in, I expected to get like 125% every single time, but I didn't. And so that's something I was like, oh man, I'm putting all this work in, but it's not coming out on my exam. So what's going on? And so that's really where I decided to revamp that entering university. And so here's what I did when I joined the University of Toronto. Okay, wait, I, I don't know why I said join. I meant like I got, I was admitted to the University of Toronto. All right, on to university. So when I went to the University of Toronto, I'm like, okay, you know what? This is gonna be pretty, pretty hard. And so I really need a study strategy that's gonna take me from first year all the way to the end of fourth year. And so I decided to revamp my entire study method. And it really was broken down into three steps. Number one being understanding the way the professor evaluated. Are they doing their exams entirely based off of lectures, textbook, a hybrid? Is it multiple choice questions, short answer questions? This really helped me, I guess, hone in on the specific study approach that I needed in order to be successful at their evaluation and save me a ton of time. And so after I did that, my second step was to do tests every single day. So after every lecture, after every tutorial, I would go log on to Quizlet or Anki, find a pre-made deck that a past student has made, and just do the questions and it really was a good way of judging my understanding of the material. I was able to see which parts of the content I didn't really understand and that was where I did part three, which was really reread and focus on those parts that I didn't have a good understanding of. So after I did the tests, I would mess up, I would mess up on this part of the lecture, I didn't really understand that. And so that was the part that I really needed to focus in on. If I was just 
doing rereading notes or summarizing, I wouldn't know that. And so that's why I really think doing practice tests along with the rereading and studying the parts that I didn't know is a really good skill that every student should adopt. And so with that, I think it's a good way, good way to transition to the third part of this video, which is my key study strategies for all of you guys out there who want to become more effective students. All right, guys, so here are three things that I think every student needs to adopt into their own study toolbox just to make them a more efficient learner. And starting with number one is do every single practice test that is available. These have so much benefit, starting with it gives you insight into how your actual exam or evaluation will be. Sometimes even they reuse questions, especially if the, the, the mock exam or the previous exam was given by a professor or teacher. They reuse questions or the styles of questions are extremely, extremely similar. So I highly recommend you doing that. And not even that too, doing tests consistently over a long period of time give you understanding of what aspects of the material you need to focus in on. Now you know which parts you're good at, which parts need improvement, and that's really where you're able to focus and tailor your studying approach to target the parts that maybe aren't as strong. And so that's tip number one. Tip number two is studying should be done over a longer period of time. Studying should start right from the beginning, right when courses start, because you don't want to be cramming, you don't want, you do not want to be procrastinating, especially in university. So I highly suggest you study for short periods of time over a longer time frame rather than a long period of time over a shorter time frame, if you get what I mean. Try to combat that forgetting curve by doing smaller increments of studying over a long period of time. Yes, so third point is studying should be very active. So in the, in the stuff I mentioned in high school where I was rereading, summarizing, rewriting notes, this is a method that is adopted by so many students and I don't think it's the right method. You know, it's a lot of effort, it's a lot of time and it doesn't really require much brain power. A lot of times it's you writing, putting in a lot of work with like your wrists, your hands, but nothing really goes in your brain. This is in contrast to the more active approach, which is where your books are closed, you know, you don't have the material in front of you and you're trying to recollect what you just learned, trying to solidify those connections in your neurons and that really helps you build a better and longer term understanding of the material. So in summary, the three things, number one, do practice exams and practice tests as much as possible. Secondly, studying should be done over a long period of time. Don't be procrastinating. It's your worst enemy. And third, finally, studying should be a very active process. So really push yourself, make yourself uncomfortable and make sure that, do I really know this? And then that's really where those connections form. That's really where your understanding blossoms. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for making it through to the end of the video. I just want to say I am sorry again for missing out on the past couple of weeks on YouTube, but here and now I'll be doing weekly uploads on Friday at 4 p.m. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also don't be afraid to let drop a like on my videos uh, and check out the other ones. There'll be a link in the description. Okay, enough with the self plug. I'll be giving you guys now the long awaited announcement it is a two week internship. And basically I know right now that things are hard to come by. It's really hard to find opportunities in the midst of this global pandemic. And so ISN is a student led nonprofit international organization, which is giving all of you guys an opportunity to join their two week internship program. Two weeks long, so it's not a lot of commitment. It gives you guys the opportunity to get involved, put this down on your resume and help contribute to a greater cause, which is helping students navigate the field between high school and university. And so essentially in this two week internship program, you'll be reaching out to businesses and sponsors and student initiatives in the second week after you've learned basic skills of marketing, sponsorship packages and networking. And so with these two in mind, learning in the first week, applying in the second week, you'll be able to make a difference and link potential students in the future with student initiatives and basically even come up with opportunities for yourself. And so this is a great way for you to get involved in the midst of this pandemic. If you are interested in this, check out this website down here, iascend.com for more information on that. And all the links will be in the description. Don't be afraid to comment if you have any questions about studying or if you have any questions about this internship. Internship signups are closing very soon. I think it closes on Wednesday the next week. So be sure to sign up immediately before spots fill up 
there's only a couple spots left so be sure to sign up and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have learned something in this video in regards to studying and let me know what you guys want to see next because i have a lot of videos in mind which will be coming out friday at 4 p.m yeah all right guys have a great week i'll see you guys all on friday at 4 p.m for my next video goodbye